carshowclassic.com. Yes, I'm Simon Crisp. Um, this is my Daimler SP250, also known as a Daimler Dart. Uh, it was built in May 1961. It was built by the Jaguar factory after they had purchased the Daimler car company um, when it had failed in 1960. And it failed probably because this car wasn't very successful. But it's a superb little car. They made two and a half thousand of them only. And they've got a two and a half litre V8 engine, so they're quite special in that they have a very small V8, but they're also very light because they're made of glass fibre. And so as a result, it goes very well. And because it's got four-wheel disc brakes, it actually handles the road conditions in modern traffic very well. And uh, as long as you don't need airbags and things like that, uh, you can belt around the roads here and have a wonderful time. Um, I've owned this car twice in my life. I bought it first when I was 20 years old, 1976. And uh, I bought it from a poor Dutch guy that I'd bothered for the previous six years from the age of 14 when I first saw this actual car in 1969. So having finally bought my precious Daimler Dart, I had it for three or four years and then sold it when I got married. Um, and I was able to find the car again 20 years later uh, and bought it from a close friend of mine that had uh, purchased the car a few years earlier. And so there's the circle. I bought my car back, I shipped it up to Dubai in 2004, and I've spent the last four or five years restoring it the way I never could afford to when I was only 20. Yeah, well, the Jaguar connection is interesting because the Daimler car company um, was bought by Jaguar in 1960. And it was as a result of the Daimler company failing. They built limousines and they built uh, large cars for royalty. They'd never built a sports car before and it didn't really work terribly well. And Jaguar bought them because they actually needed the factory space that the Daimler company had in a place called Radcliffe in Coventry. And so they bought the factory and were able to double their output of cars. And this was a very good acquisition for Jaguar, but they didn't really want to develop the Daimler Dart any further because it was competing with the E-Type. And so as a result, the Daimler stopped production in 1964 and we all know the E-Type Jaguar went on to build 70 odd thousand cars uh, and was a very successful car for Jaguar. More classic supercars, please visit carshowclassic.com.